Hey loves, it's Britt and in this video I'm going to talk about what it means to have the Sun conjunct to Mars in Sinistry. So if your Sun is conjunct with someone's Mars um, or their Sun is conjunct with your Mars in Sinistry, what happens here in this very fiery combination? So when we have the two masculine planets in union in a conjunction in Sinistry, this is a very powerful aspect of energetic activity. Now, a lot will be dependent on the sign that this is taking place in. Um, and that sign and the energies of that sign will really um, be a major theme of this relationship. This is also a very strong indicator of sexual attraction and physical compatibility like where you are physically turned on by that person's body um so that can be a really good thing and in a friendship um or a non-sexual relationship you can still really appreciate that person's physical body. Like maybe you're at the gym and you, you know, you see that person, you're like, wow, you know, I like their body. Good job. You know, like there is that kind of element with this aspect where there is like a literal physical appreciation of each other's bodies. Um, this aspect along with Mars Ascendant um, is probably the most like physically physical aspect um, where yeah there's just a lot of attraction based upon the simple um, energy of really finding someone attractive um, in their body and um, it can also be like the the scent like you are compatible as far as like um, the pheromones and um, you know that level of attraction going on. So in a woman's chart, Mars is her image of masculinity as far as like the man that really sexually turns her on. So when um, a woman meets a man whose son, which is his identity and his most outward expression of himself, his light, um, when a woman meets a man whose son is conjunct to her Mars, she is going to feel the most um, sexual attraction to him. Um, probably more than any other aspect actually um, it's quite strong and in some cases um, she will actually be the initiator of the relationship and um, she can be more activated in her masculine self in this relationship which can work for the right um, type of woman who's naturally Mars dominant or, or Aryan or um, I mean for any woman it's it's going to be very attractive when you meet a man whose Sun is conjunct your Mars it's yeah it's very very hot um, and also she sees him like as um, a natural embodiment of those qualities that she feels are masculine so um, and this could go either way to like we'll talk about the reversal or you know you could have a woman who you know if you're um, gay or whatever it's like the same right so you could have um, like so her Mars just naturally feels like he is good like he is expressing himself in a way that she feels like is um, respectable there's a lot of mutual respect and agreement on each other's actions like when you've had this aspect or when I've had this aspect it's like the way that he moves is right you know like the way that he 
uh, you know, maybe he'll open the door for you or he'll, um, the way that he puts his arm around you or the way that he puts his clothes on or drives his car, like there's something very right about the way that, um, the other person acts with this aspect. So like, you know, sometimes when you'll have the square here or, um, or you don't have a Sun to Mars aspect like this, those type of just natural actions uh, by someone just piss you off or irritate you or it's just like that's not how I would act, right? With this conjunction, there is a lot of agreement on how the other person acts, you know, in those just more simplistic ways, right? It's, it's very physical, right? Like these are just physical actions, right? But there's a lot of... Um, agreement and appreciation of that so on the reversal right so when it's the man's Mars to the woman's Sun um, this is very activating as well and um, so the man can feel though like she definitely really activates him and makes him like uh, really sexually attracted and, and there's a lot of passion here, but also it's kind of like she's the leader in a way she can be teaching him things. She can like, this one can be more competitive, I feel like personally. Maybe you've experienced it the other way, but in my experience, this one is um, like a little bit maybe, well, it depends. It's like who has the stronger Mars, right? Like is Sun stronger or is Mars stronger? So you have to look at that. Um, so in some cases though, when it's the man's Mars conjunct the woman's Sun, he is going to look up to her and she is going to be seen as this bright light and with all this leadership and power and it's um, going to be very stimulating for him. It's going to really, you know, turn him on and, and, um, but there can be some like, you know, who's the leader. And actually that can show up on the other side too, because we have the two most outward expressions here. We have the two masculine planets, right? So when it's a, a feminine planet and a masculine planet, like Venus to Mars or something, it's obvious the Mars is the leader, right? When we have Sun Mars, that's where it can get tricky with who's the leader. Right. And in relationships that work well, there is a distinctive leader. Usually most people need that. It, it just tends to work better when we have a leader with the sun conjunct with Mars. We can be fighting over who's the leader in the relationship and with the right people that this can be OK. This is like, you know, when you see a couple that's like we're a power couple. You know, we're a boss couple. You know, we both are like these dominant leader forces in the world. And um, this is a very outward energy, right? So that's kind of what we see um, with the sun conjunct with Mars is um, there's two bosses, right? So in order for this to work long term, once in a while, somebody is going to have to let the other lead for a bit or, um, or, you know, how it could also work too, is that they both have their own careers. They both have their own other part of life to dominate. Um, and then in that case, this relationship actually energizes that this can be a relationship that it actually um, promotes outward success for both people. It's, um, yeah, definitely like being together with this person makes you more motivated to get out there and take on life and um, like dominate life. So uh, that can be very good for two people that um, l like that. They, you know, so, but it can also be a little bit like, you know, yeah who's the boss, right? Um, because with this, we're both very strong. Um, and so there can even be like some jealousy at times with certain type of people like that. It's um, kind of competitive when we have sun conjunct to Mars, it can be like, 
um, cause we're both quite strong. It can be like Mars conjunct Mars a little bit too, where we're kind of like, we're very similar and the way that we go about something and go after something is really the same, but then it can be a bit like we're kind of like a sibling rivalry. This one isn't so much like that, but it's definitely like we activate each other in um, our strong points. So this relationship is more outward than receptive, right? It's, it's not about sitting on the couch together. Um, it's about taking action. Like this is the couple that wakes up every day at 5 a.m. and does a huge workout and then you know, like does their meal prepping and then they both go off to work and just totally like, you know, kill it or dominate the world or whatever. Um, and as a couple, they're definitely seen as like a power couple. Um, so it can definitely work and it, it can also be very good for a working partnership too like they could work together um, and it's actually better like if there is something for them to work on together right and of course for a lot of couples this will be um, the sex like they will have uh, an incredible attraction to each other um, because they're both being brought up in this they're, they're both being activated in this very um, sexual way. It's a very physical way. Like I said, the rightness of the way the person acts and the way the person does their life in the most outward way is very attractive. So this is the kind of aspect of the couple that they're always touching each other. They just, they, you know, oh, you smell so good. You, you taste so good. You just, you act so right in the world. Like there, it's very touchy-feely and physical, right? And the sex is a more, um, like, aggressive, outward energy, um, but it can still, it can be very good and very fulfilling and very primal in a way. And it's like both people get to be a stronger leader um, and really activate their masculine side. So for a woman... Um, some, in some cases, women can kind of, uh, like project onto men, their sun and Mars and be, you know, not, um, not as focused or, you know, not as, um, yeah, focused on their outward activities as, as men can sometimes naturally be. And then at the same time, men can sometimes project their moon and Venus onto women and be not as emotionally in, in tune, right? So with this relationship, the woman is actually getting a, a big sense of her, you know, uh, animus or like the, yeah, the inner masculine. So she can become much more powerful in her outer life um, and, you know, much more confident and capable and strong because she's getting that activation of her inner masculine. And so, um, yeah, this can be a really good thing, but yeah, it can be, it can get kind of competitive, like who's the leader, right? And there's so much energy um, that there needs to be an outlet. Like I said, the couple that works out together has lots of sex um, and uh, has some other avenue to direct this energy into, then it's, it's perfect. This one is not so much like an aspect of actual fighting because we're actually so similar, you know, like when it's a conjunction, you know, sometimes people think, okay, the conjunction is the most powerful aspect. So between sun and Mars or Mars and Mars, that means it's going to be the most fighting. Not necessarily because we're actually so similar that like the way that person acts is just deemed as like, ah, oh, yes, that is the correct way to act because that is also how I would act. So they actually piss you off less then say you've got sun square to Mars or, or Mars square to Mars. It's like, so the, the reason fighting would happen is just because two people are dominating in the relationship. And it's like, wait, you take a seat because I'm acting now, right? That's the fight. It's like, it's my turn to shine right now. No, it's my turn. It's like, no, one of us needs to take the back seat sometimes, right? So this is where the fighting can come from. 
or just from the actual fact that there is just so much physical energy and if we're not getting an outlet maybe we're just a little bit frustrated so that's more where the fighting would come from with this aspect but you know basically we're so similar here um in our level of ego uh, identities and outward action that um you know we definitely like each other a lot and the sexual attraction is very strong and very quickly activated you know we feel comfortable with each other physically we feel like uh it's natural to touch each other it's natural to have sex it's natural to um be more confident like when you have the sun conjunct to mars with someone you you feel more confident with them like so if you're like a pisces um or a cancer like a more introverted sign or a more uh yeah like more inward and, th and then you get this aspect um you get out there more and you you know uh actually can become a more like outgoing version of yourself because the thing with this aspect is like there's not a lot of thinking it's action so if you're someone who thinks too much and doesn't act get in a relationship with the sun conjunct mars and you'll start acting more so sometimes the actions can end up being so instantaneous that uh maybe we want to actually try to practice some meditation or some you know uh more um pause in between the action because in this relationship we can be very very quick to act but usually it's a really good thing and um, a lot of actual success can happen because we really make each other feel confident with this aspect and it can be very good for career as well you can really get out there more with your career so yeah this is such a long video same with my moon conjunct mars video <laughs> i love mars sinistry i'm ruled by mars so i love it i could talk for days anyways i'd love to know your experience of this aspect was it like this did you love it did you hate it and i'm doing your request let me know if you have a request for me and we'll talk soon okay love you guys thanks for watching bye